Hello everyone. My name is David and I am a teacher here on online. In this video we are going to have a look at 7 different things you can include in your introduction. Make sure to pause the video when you are watching and write your own information. I would love to read your self-introductions in the comments below. The first thing we can include is our greeting. A greeting could be hi, hello, or hey. Of these three, hi and hello could be used, in both informal or informal situation, whereas hey is usually used in more informal situation as. The next thing we can include is our name. We can tell people about our names by saying simply I'm David the first M is the contracted version of I am. Or we can say my name is David. My name is the contracted version my name is David. The third thing we can include in our introduction is our location. Now, you might want to tell people the place you were born and then tell them where you are currently living. So to talk about the place you were born, you can say, I'm from insert the name of the city or the country. And then you can say, but now I live in insert the city or the country. Another way we can do this is say, I was born and raised in city and country, but now I live in city and country. And then the third way we can do it is, we can say I grew up in city and country name, but now I live in city and country's name. For example, I grew up in Bangladesh. But now I live in India. The fourth thing we can include in our self introduction is our age. You can say this in two ways. You can say I am 20 years old. Or a shorter version, I am 20. The fifth thing we are going to include in our self introduction is our work, our occupation, what we do for a living. We can say this in a few different ways. You can say I am an inserted profession. I am a lawyer, I am a doctor. I'm an engineer. If you are still studying, you can say I'm a student and insert the name of the university. For example, the sixth thing that we can include in our self introduction is our family. There are a few ways we can do this as well. The first thing we can do is we can say, I have a mom, a dad, a sister, a brother, a husband, or a wife. We can list all of the people in our family, or if we don't want to list all of the members of our family, we can say I'm from a family of four. You want to talk about how many siblings you have in your family, you can say I am one of four siblings. If you are an only child. If you don't have any brothers or sisters, no siblings, you can say I'm an only child. And the last thing that you can include in your self introduction, the seventh thing is your hobbies. So when we are taking about our hobbies we allow people to know a little bit more about our personalities because we get to see what they enjoy doing in their free time. There are two ways that you can introduce your hobbies. Well two ways that I will speak about in this video. The first thing you can do is you can say Say I really enjoy running, I really enjoy learning languages. I really enjoy listening to music so I really enjoy and then you name the activity. The next way that you can talk about your hobby is by saying in my free time I like to in my free time I like to run or in my free time I like to study English and you can insert whatever activity you like to do in your free time into the sentence. So that is our lesson for today about self introductions. I hope you got some fabulous ideas and I really can't wait to read all of your self introductions in the comments below. Enjoy the rest of your day, and happy English learning goodbye. I hope you liked the video please like share and subscribe to my channel.